we're going to add some profiles, make our own. So let's start. So we open up the um, the folder in SketchUp, Cab Maker, and in Cab Maker we have a supplied uh, project called doorprofiles.skp. These are the examples and exact uh, um, profiles that I've added into the systems thus far. So we're going to add, we're going to start by adding in something very similar to the cove. So let's just grab it and um, what we want to do is keep it sort of in line. So 50 millimeters on the blue axis. Move this. Done. Okay. Um, then what we want to do, we, we can take most of this apart, leave the line, and uh, do the same here. Okay, and leave, take the line, leave, yeah, we can take that out too. So what we want to start with is we want to come in two millimeters uh, on the blue on this blue axis so I just type in two and we're going to do the same on this side then we're going to go 45 degrees now we know that this would be 6.7 so for now we can um, make some um, uh, markers if we want or some lines doesn't really matter 6.7 and then 6.7 and 6.7 and 6.7 bring this across bring this down and then bring this down okay whoops take rid of this get rid of this and copy place. Now that should fill and this will reverse and then we'll bring up our paint can and we should be good to go. Change this so tools 3D text 5 millimeter yeah that's good enough call it 45 meter that's good for one. Now all we need to do here now is select this face and pick the uh, add door profile up here and it's not a panel profile what we're, this is is some boss profiles and then we'll give it the name 45 miter. Okay successfully added that one's done. I'm going to add one more here and this one here is going to be very similar to this uh, to this uh, mitered profile. So again, I'm just going to bring a line down. Uh, 75 is good. And uh, from there, we're going to create a line 60 millimeters long. We're going to go 19. by 60 and we're going to add in at 4 millimeters and 6 millimeters some uh, construction lines they're always handy for 10 that is 6 and this one here, I'm not sure, but since we're going to make it the same as that one, 
I can just add in a construction line this way. Come back down here. And we're away to the races. Okay, so what I want is a, somewhere around 20 millimeters this way. And then I want to come in 19 and in 19. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to temporarily turn this into a group. And the reason for that is because I want to, uh, I want to do some, uh, make a circle here, and I don't want it to cut into the other parts, into the other objects that we have. So I'm going to go start with a circle, and I'm going to give it 64 segments. So, and then I'm going to bring it down, and I'm going to bring in a second one here and bring it down. Then I should be able to just take this and delete all of these pieces out of there. Uh, eraser. And there is our shape. And at this point here, I'm just going to explode the group and uh, pick those. Now, we can now give it a name. I could just call it a simple mitered profile, simple. So uh, add in some text, just it's kind of like documentation. Mitered profile. Simple. Okay, reverse this. Now in this case, what we want to do is we want to pick this, highlight this, which I have done so, because we'll find this edge and take the measurements from it and create our panel from there, our thickness for the panel, our width and thickness comes from this shape. So we're going to now add a mitered profile and we're just going to call it simple successfully added okay now that we've done that we're going to save our profile close down start up so that the uh, profiles will show up in here and now we're going to go ahead and make a cabinet with one of these for sure so let's go to defaults. We've already got mitered set selected. So uh, we're going to go into mitered, um, mitered door, and uh, we've picked simple. Okay, and uh, at this point, we're just going to uh, go ahead and create the door or create the cabinet. So uh, uh, maybe what's easier is I'll just break into this door. Oops. Okay, and I'm going to hide this piece. Swivel around and you can see that the profile that we wanted is there. It's nice and simple. And that the uh, uh, little groove that we created is is working. So edit unhide all. Now let's switch the doors over and uh, let's pick uh, an embossed door. So edit cabinet. We're just going to go to one of the simple ones, emboss square is fine. And we'll pick it for both, for everything. And we're going to go to the doors here, go to embossed square. And we are have the 45 degree miter. And here we go. 
So they're an embossed door. As you can see, we've gone back two millimeters. It's 30 millimeters wide. This is 6.7. It's what we've asked for. So there's an embossed door and a mitered door. Thank you very much.